Okay, well, now that you know how to get people onto your list and you know what's happening, you probably want to know, well, now what kind of marketing emails can I send? What's going to work best that will help me to make more money online? Now, when you do, when you do this, um, you are going to want to uh, look at, in particular, when someone is part of your email database, uh, you can send, really send two different kinds of emails. Now, one is called a broadcast email. And this is an email which you will write and you'll send to all subscribers at the same time. So in other words, if I decide today that I have a special message for all of my subscribers, then I can decide to send that email and write it today and send it today. I can decide also to send it to a segment of my subscribers. So basically, it is one that I decide and I write and I decide to send today or right now. Now, the other kind of email is called an autoresponder email or uh, a, a sequenced email. This is one that you're going to write ahead of time and just going to have it set up to be sent to all of your subscribers according to the day that they signed up. So in other words, if someone signed up on a Wednesday and then they get the email, they'll get the first email, email on Wednesday, they'll get the second one on Thursday, they'll get the third one on Friday. So these emails are emails that you have set up ahead of time, they're scheduled, and they go out based on the day that the person actually becomes part of your list. Now, it's fair to mention that most marketers who make a lot of money using email marketing, they use broadcast emails, and they use them when they want to market new products or they want to market affiliate products. In other words, whenever they want to sell, they use, uh, they use uh, broadcast emails because you'll probably find that there are going to be product launches that you want to promote another affiliate and they will not be, uh, uh, they won't be such that you can actually put them in sequence ahead of time. You will then need to write a broadcast email to tell your subscribers about something great that you have to show them and you will write that email and send it out as is. Now, when you want to provide education and value, typically you want to set those up ahead of time. You want those to go out on a regular basis. So in other words, if you want someone to get education every single Thursday, you can set up your email sequence to make sure that people are getting a Thursday email with lots of value, okay? And so you can actually do that with your autoresponder emails. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to send both kinds of emails right now inside of GetResponse. I am now inside of GetResponse, and remember, I can send two kinds of emails. So when I look at uh, GetResponse, a broadcast email in GetResponse is actually called a newsletter. That is what they call it. You're going to find it to be called different things inside of different autoresponder systems, but a broadcast email or the one that I send on a spur of the moment or today is called a newsletter. In order to create a sequence of emails, I will create an autoresponder. In order to keep track of and in order to manage those emails that I send ahead of time, I can go to the area where I can manage my autoresponders. So let's take a look at managing autoresponders. And right away, you should see something familiar. Remember how we saw this email that came out as soon as the person joined my list. You'll notice that this is going to be sent any day of the week that a person signs up for our list. You can set up emails like that to be sent automatically whenever you decide to send an email or whenever this person decides to become part of your list. These are emails, again, they, they are auto-responded. They will come to the, the user regardless of who they are when they sign up. Now, what happens if I decide to create a newsletter? Let's find out. Okay, so what I've done is I have tapped out an email for my subscribers that I'm going to be sending on a broadcast. So as soon as I send this, they're going to receive it. Doesn't matter when they signed up for my list, they're going to receive it as soon as I send it. Now, what I'm going to do here, remember, and you might remember this from a previous video, is I'm also going to make sure to, to copy this 
or I might have to do this another way. I might hit control C and I'm going to make a plain text version of this. So I'm also going to make sure that this is in the plain text area of get response. They do have a feature where you can wrap long lines. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's just something that I'll tend to do. And then now I know that the email is both inside of the HTML. It's also inside of the plain text and it is now ready to be sent as a broadcast email. So I'm just going to click next step. Now get response is going to give me the ability to either send this email immediately and everybody's going to get it right now or I can set it maybe a couple of hours ahead or even get response will allow me to set it three days ahead. But now remember this is different from an autoresponder email because I determine at this point when my when all receivers are going to get this email. Okay, if you want to do things on social media with the email, you can do that. But for the most part, this email is now ready to go. I'm going to send it immediately and I'm going to hit the publish button. Okay, get response is now telling me that my email um, has been sent according to my settings. Now, one more thing to note on autoresponder emails, I mentioned that one thing that you can do is you can send autoresponder emails on a certain day. And if you're going to educate, this is one of the ways that you will be able to know when your subscribers are going to get your educational emails. Because one of the questions that often comes up is, well, if I send an autoresponder email and it, I send it based on when the person signs up, how will I know when I will send a broadcast email so that they're not getting two on the same day and causing them to unsubscribe. Well, one of the ways that you can work around that is that once you've actually signed someone up, if you're going to send educational emails, you can send them on the same day of the week at the same time. This also builds trust with your uh, with your subscribers, and with your buyers, because they'll know when to expect your emails. They'll know when you are going to be giving them value. And it's a great way for you to be able to segment or organize your marketing so that you will be able to do both. You'll be able to give value and you will be able to send marketing emails. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.